Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Horror Debate. I'm Michael Mandy. He's Rowdy Jeff. And this week we're going to review Psycho 2, directed by Richard Franklin from 1983, starring, of course, our very friendly Anthony Perkins and Meg Tilly. And it's 22 years later and Norman Bates is coming home. Does he have to? And he came home and he brought Robert Loggia with him and Dennis Franz. Oh, oh, uh, Franz, uh, Franz. Pappy Jack. Uh, hey, Pappy I'm, Jack from Gladiator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know hey, this guy. Hey, Dennis Franz, man. I'm just glad he kept his pants on. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Franz was great, actually, in this film. He was, it was he was funny, man. Yeah. Kind of character I can relate to, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rowdy one could relate. Yeah, so uh, what are we talking here, man? What's okay. this movie about? Vera Miles comes back from her reprising her role as uh, Lila Loomis from the first Psycho film. Basically, Norman Bates, it's 22 years later, and the, he gets let out, and uh, they decide to let him live in the house all over again. And uh, Why? Because what moron lets this guy back out into the house where all the memories are, all the killings took place? No, he's not going to regress. Because if they send him to, like, Hollywood, we'd have a boring movie. Well, okay. This so, ma- so it's all for the movie set. This made a much better movie, <laughs> don't you think? No. <laughs> uh, in all honesty, uh, you know, we're, we're talking about the same playing field as the first movie for me. Uh, this one uh, took a couple of interesting twists. Added color, which I thought was a plus to begin with. Uh, you know, me and black and white don't really mix all that well. Uh, but, uh, you know, in all honesty, uh, I thought the acting picked up a little bit in this movie. Uh, the dialogue wasn't so so trite like it was in the first movie. Well, there's a big difference between 1960 and 1983. Well, th- yeah. What, 23 years? Yeah. Yeah, you know. So acting picked up a little bit. They, they figured out their craft. Perkins is still a, a wonderful uh, physical actor, you know. Mm-hmm. As all the traits that a yeah. good, uh, a Very good antagonist or villain would have. This is definitely the role uh, that was tailor made for him. Like, did I know. not tell you that Meg Tilly was going to get naked? Yes, you did. Did I not tell you? It's like a prerequisite in her contract that anything she plays in, you're going to get a shot. Well, like you said, Tilly just cross those two L's and, and <laughs> you get it. You know? <laughs> That's it. That's it. You know, uh, we don't see her a lot anymore. And, and no, I, we get we see more of her sister. Yep. Absolutely. So was it her sister that was in Chucky? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, gotcha. Okay, All anyways, right. back to this film. Do we have to? Yes. Okay. Um, you know, um, not not terrible. I'm not going to say it's terrible, although I thought it several times throughout the movie when I was nodding off. <laughs> um, you know, they're, 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 uh, the pacing of these movies, you know, unfortunately, and I think it just goes with the nature of the beast. Uh, it, it's just kind of the way these, these types of films are. Very slow, deliberate pacing mm-hmm. and and yeah. and in a movie like this i've said it before with the first uh movie uh review uh you know it just doesn't work for me it it, it makes me feel like i'm watching um like a window into somebody's life that i don't need all this information you know all i need to do is get from point a to point b to point c to move the story along and the distance between point a and point b is like from where we are to north mm-hmm. dakota yeah. you know what i mean they, they it needs to be shortened up tightened up um, uh, the presentation is too drab, you know. It's too it's too spaced. Well, I tell you, when this movie was released way back in 1983, all the critics were going nuts, saying that this was a gore fest, <laughs> and oh, that sorry. Alfred Hitchcock should be rolling in his grave. Well, they he, thought that this was much too fast paced. Well, here's uh, the thing, uh, okay. Uh, now uh, I could kind of see, okay, especially uh, considering the time frame, I could kind of see where this was. A jump from from the first movie. The first movie is considered an American classic. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't think you're going to see too many like film students studying Psycho too. No. Okay. No, people don't do that. It's kind of a big jump in quality. Uh, I, th- I honestly do believe the acting got better, but I think the story got a little bit more diluted, more twists and turns, probably a little less believable overall. With this one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it seemed to dilute itself down, you know. Uh, there was there was just too much. But Lila Loomis, is the who, she wants to put him back in the insane asylum, yeah. and so she gets her daughter to, and they both but dress it, up like mother to, to drive him I back. No, I just never, I that, never. That's not too far gone. I never got the the sense of it being something that would actually or could actually happen. I don't know. I I was pretty far detached from this film from the get go, to be uh-huh. honest with you. The psychos, I just. I never remembered them because I've seen them all before, 
And I just never remember them being so darn slow and just drawn out. I, I just, I, I guess my mental image was just completely off. <laughs> You know, as to what I thought this thing was. Well, you know, I saw Psycho 2 in the movie theaters way back when in 83, and it didn't seem slow-paced back then. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, maybe because I have the history with it, and I've seen this film at least ten times. I, I love this film. You love this film? I love this film. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I really let, do. Let me rub my head for the, a second. The, Hold on. You know, me, Anthony Perkins' uh, a characterization. I felt so bad for him. He was trying so hard to hold on to his sanity well, okay, to do the right thing and yeah. seeing everybody being mean to him and doing all these things. And I just felt so bad. So when yeah. things started going, it's like it was it was a payoff. It's like, go. Yeah. You know? It's okay. about time. Now, in the characterization department, I would say that, yeah, you're, you, you're onto something there because okay. I thought... He played that very well as as the guy who's coming home. He has still the mental illness, uh, trying to do the right thing, thrust back like idiots, throwing this guy back yeah. into this house. You got to get past that one hurdle, right? I mean, well, that's a big hurdle, <laughs> okay? But um, you know, he played that perfectly, man. You know, uh -huh. I, I, I have well, no no complaints with that whatsoever. Where I have a complaint, you know, it, it just seemed like. Again, it, it takes too long to develop. Mm -hmm. It takes too long to get you going. So that's your your main gripe is just the pacing. Yeah, and by the time you're there, you don't care mm -hmm. anymore. You know, you just I, I again, and I've said this in so many reviews. You know, you gotta care. You gotta mm -hmm. you gotta care about somebody. And and I I honestly found myself at the beginning of this movie caring about. The psycho, the guy, because you know, here's a guy that Norman Bates. Yeah, Norman Bates. I mean, this guy is is uh, thrust back into an environment where you know he's not going to succeed. Mm -hmm. You know it right off the bat. You know, but he's and, trying and you, exactly, and you, and you kind of feel sorry for him. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh huh. That does that. I, that works for me. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I can get with that. Um, but again, I you know. <laughs> the other thing I like about this film that I thought worked is the director and the writers both weren't there to cash in on a quick buck because of the name and the history. Right. They they actually watched the first film. Right. They pulled few little tidbits from the first yeah. film to let you know these characters are really from the the first film. And not only that, a lot of the camera angles, mm -hmm. the same camera angles, but it, in color this time. Yeah, what'd you call that camera that kind of moved and it kind of distorted the door and I uh -huh. thought it was like, That's I thought you spiked fish, my Coke or something. It was a fish eye lens. Fish eye lens. Okay. Yep. okay. That was a heck of a scene where he, he's poking through, looking through through the uh, the hole that they bored in the side of the bathroom, watching her take the shower, uh -huh. and the camera is now in the bathroom, and it pulls all the way to almost a complete 360, yep. finds that little hole and zooms in nice and tight. Dean Cundy did a heck of a job on filming this film, so and he did uh, the Spielberg films, and he, he knows what he's doing. Right. So so we you gave know. we gave uh, Perkins his props in in mm -hmm. the first movie and in this movie. What'd you think of Tilly? You know, I thought she was kind of wooden in this film. Yeah. Uh, she was the fake acting one. You know, gee, Norman, what are you doing with that knife? Yeah. You know, I, I, I thought she was the fake one. There. I tend to agree with that. I think mm -hmm. she she uh, underacted. She she pulled a Nick Cage. Yes. You know, she was yes. She had no emotion. None. It, it, very. No. Yeah. Yeah. Nick Cage, perfect example. But Dennis Going Franz, the, on the other oh, hand, oh, Dennis Franz was emotion. acting all. Oh, yeah. Come on, you <laughs> loony! Uh, yeah, he was great, yep. man. He was, yeah. you know, even Robert Loggia as, as a psychiatrist. I mean, everyone acted fine, and she was just the one weak point in that film yeah uh, well she was one of the weak points in the film <laughs> I mean in terms of acting in terms of acting I, I think I think that's right yeah. I, you know the, the, honestly the cast was pretty solid the mm -hmm. cast was pretty solid yes um, you know I in all honesty okay, so so far we've got the cast was solid mm -hmm. you cared about Norman yeah, yeah. and and you know in all honesty uh, um, I, I think that uh, I enjoyed this probably a little bit more than I did the original mm -hmm. overall um, I, I gave the original two stars. Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 I'm waffling on this one because it's okay. like somewhere between a two and a three, uh -huh. right? Okay. But I'm going to waffle it to the three. All right. Okay, I'm going to waffle it to the three because I think that the acting was stronger okay. um, and, and the characterization worked. I mean, those, are the, those were the strengths of this movie. All right. Well, a three-star film, that's pretty good from Jeff. All right. I was yeah, especially a psycho movie. Yeah. I, I think I might have talked you into that. You, <laughs> I think know, you started out this review going for two I was or kinda, even a one. I was kind of going, know? no, no, no. I wasn't going to go to one. Okay. I, I was definitely 
gonna I was heading towards two, but you're right, after I think about it, after I detach myself from what mm -hmm. I thought was, you know, the boredom yeah. of, of waiting for the pacing to, to do yeah. something, okay. um, uh, the characters were put together real well. And, and you're right, it, it did have the ties to the original movie, which so many sequels screw up. Yes. You know? And, well, and they're there to cash in on a quick buck. Hey, we, we got the rights to this right, name. Right. Let's just find this old script and just erase those names, change the names, or even forget the names. Yeah. I've seen sequels that have nothing to do with the original. Yeah, and we didn't talk about the video and all that, but it wasn't nothing special. They didn't do anything no. really major with this, this it film. They just kind of threw it on DVD and said, here you go. Yeah. You know, uh, see the Suspiria review for the, uh, <laughs> for the rant on that. Uh, but, uh, no, in all honesty, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with three mike all right i was gonna give uh you know yeah three uh, or four i was waffling on that i really really like this film but yeah it's a good solid three star film i really like it and uh y'all should watch it mm -hmm. i'm michael mandy and he's rowdy jeff we'll talk to you next week at the horror debate